Hello, folks, and welcome back to Satisfactory. We are hanging out here at the top of the Devastator factory, and we are going to be running through a couple of the changes over the last little while. And uh, we lucked out, and it's just at the end of nighttime, so it'll be daylight soon. And we can um, sort out a few things here. Uh, over the last few streams in Satisfactory, I have been uh, going over the uh, drive sheet and trying to correct my notes and uh, double check things that I have flagged as um, stuff we want to address. Some things like uh, adding an extra set of refineries to the copper are not things we're going to be able to do until 1.0 releases on September 10th, which is just uh, a week from Tuesday. So um, it would make no sense to do any new factory construction until then. But there are a lot of things that are just a little bit on the questionable side. I've got these yellow notes everywhere in here. So I'm curious as to what some of this stuff means. Uh, coal ore, does it be used for something else like black powder, south wing aluminum, 600 coal. Well, we'll start there. We'll start there. Scavenger train, coal. I'll have to figure out where that's coming from. And I do have the main bus to label out as well. So I thought it would be a good idea just to kind of go through my stuff and anytime I see a little yellow note for myself, past Joel, just say, all right, let's sort it out. Let's figure out what's, what's going on. So this is the main train station where all of the trains from the surrounding area come and drop off the resources. That is the McMaster train. Bone crusher, scrapper, scavenger. Looks like scavenger is just dropping off some coal. So coal is in the first two. And they go down here. There we go. Should be pretty easy to follow. They're going to go across there, and then eventually they're going to go into... Looks like the top two main bus. Good stuff. I believe this goes all the way to aluminum. And then stops right about there. So coal and coal on the top two, second from the left. So we can add those to the main bus. And that is from the scavenger train. Void Presence, welcome back. Right. So then this is all going in here. However, is there any overflow? Doesn't look like there's any overflow.
I was really unaware just how much firepower you get from biofuel now in your jetpack. Like, you can fly forever. Very cool. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything happening with this overflow. Both of these are smart splitters. Overflow is set to center, so if there was an overflow, it would go that way. There's the coal coming in. And the coal, I believe, goes under the ground. Thankfully, I took the time to paint the belts, so... Or at least some of them. Those go down here. I think it's all being used. So what these are... Coal. Making aluminum scrap. So the question is... I'm going to get out of here where it's not so noisy. Thanks for the lurk, Void Presence. I really appreciate it. Always a great thing to do for your, your creators that you follow. Lurking in their streams is great help. More viewers. Those good things. Yeah, I'm not seeing any overflow. So this might be incorrect as far as what's happening here. South Aluminum Wing. I'm going to move this up. This just feels crowded. Aluminum production requires 1080 coal per minute. Aluminum production tap. Scavenger station coal ore, 1200 per minute. And this is 6480. Aluminum scrap, I've got nine refineries and they each need 120. So that's right. I just don't see the overflow unless the overflow is happening underneath and not on the main bus. That's, that's a possibility as well. I might have an awesome sink tucked away back here. Nine refineries, it says. This looks like more than nine to me. Oh, it's these nine. Okay. Yeah. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't see an awesome sink. There's the coal. I wonder what those were for. That's concrete. There's the coal. Do you have enough coal to the machine uh, machines? Yeah, I think so. I guess that's the thing. If if scrapper is underproducing then that could be a problem. All the machines are green, though. I guess this would be the side to look at. Yeah, we're all green lights. I 
I really like this aluminum factory. Can't wait to finish up the design. So that suggests to me that Scrapper is not getting 1200 per minute. The belts are kind of stuttering a bit though. So I think I called this the awesome sync array. I do find it strange that there's not a lot of overflow though. It runs 100% until the train station is empty. No, that's right. But what I'm saying is that the train station is producing more than these machines are taking in. We should have 1,200 coming in. So there's an extra 120 that should be going overflow, but it's not. So I don't know where the other extra 120 is going. Right? That's the question. Which means that I'm not getting 1,200 at this station. I'm getting the 120 less. Unless I'm pulling it off somewhere else. But I didn't see that anywhere. Oh. Nope. Yeah, there's no other siphon. There's no... No pulling it off. Because it's not like the machines only take what they need. The belts will f are pushing in more than the machine needs. And the Mark V belts are doing... 780 potentially so that's a mystery like that's really weird this train stations do tell you what they're receiving now so I'll go take a look at this train station again I need more entry points for this long system of hypertubes. Four eighty five per minute and five ninety six per minute. Well, that explains it. Ten eighty. We're not, we're just getting in exactly what we need. So, why is that happening? I've never really been super great at doing the um, collection throughput. We'll time the train. This is Scavenger.
grab my stopwatch here. Actually, I'll wait. I think you time it from the train horn, I think. Oh, thank you. They've added some new sounds. I'm sure I've timed this before, but we'll time it again. If it's slower, then it should have a full full load, right? The rocks are gone, but the gas is not gone. Uh, Connor, yeah, the game is pretty fun. Uh, 1.0 releases on September 10th. And you should, if you're looking at it, uh, I would wait. Because there's a really good chance it's going to be on sale on September 10th. So it's a minute 45 from horn to horn, and then we'll see what the last horn is like. My guess is that the round trip is too short for the full Throughput, but the thing is, like, you should be able to to handle it. It's a short train trip. I'm probably going to want to go back with the train, actually. Oh, the autosave is going to screw up my timing. That's annoying. Three minutes, 23 seconds. So I have 3.30 there on my sheet. Isn't there a setting to have the train wait until it's full before it leaves the station? Hmm... I don't think so. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. Because then your machines would run out of stuff, right?
I mean, all of this is not going to be a big deal. Um, these coal nodes are probably going to change. These guys are all 300 per minute. Yeah, see, these are backed up. Why are you not moving? That could be a problem, too. They're probably backed up from when I updated the train system. So if that's the case, then the train should be taking full, full containers, right? 487, 593. It's really strange that that is exactly what I need, right? Like that adds up to 1080. Right? Yeah. That's a really weird coincidence. There's a lot of features in the game. That's true. Uh, as far as the route, you'd have to actually... The locomotive is the thing that has the route on it. Yeah, so these are both full. So this is... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 4,800. That's the capacity. So I did test times, and all those are not what I had. Collection rate times round trip time divided by train capacity. I've got the wrong train capacity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then one, two, three, four. Oh no, this is the train platform. The freight car capacity is what I'm. Yeah, this is about mid game, I would say. Um, they start you off real easy. It's also really fun. The the voiceover presentation they give you is is cool. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So that's your thirty two hundred, right? But that's not empty, right? Like it's not it's only it's only bringing what it needs. So we are definitely producing more here, but for whatever reason, it's just not, we're not getting the full 1200 to the other station. It's really strange. Because those are now full, right? What happens at the other station? Yeah. I might have belts that are too slow. But the belts looked full to me. See, these aren't empty, right? Mark 5, Mark 5. There's two Mark 5s here. They obviously stop when the train is in session, but then they've got these buffers underneath, right? Uh, 
I wonder if I delete the buffers if that'll Again, that's the kind of thing I'm not entirely sure of. Oh, wait a minute. Why do I have Mark 2 Mark 4? That's 600 per right? 120 and 480 is 600. So there's only 600 on the belt. That's a merger. And this looks light. Mark 4. Mark 2. So that should that should be 600 per belt. I just don't know why one of them is slow. Yeah, like in, in it's we've looked at the belts before. There's no backlog. I know what I'm saying. I know why the belts are backed up. What I'm saying is that we are sending 1,200, but where's the other 120, 120 going? Because the machines are only consuming 1080. So we're only getting 1080 through the station instead of sending 1200. So I, d I don't know why we're not. The ba the, th these belts should be backed up, but they're not. That's what I'm saying. They should be backed up, but they're not. Right. So we're sending 12 back back over at the valley. We're sending 1200 into the train station, but it's only delivering 18 or 1080. Right. And I don't know why. But, again, I'm not going to try to fix it. I just need to make sure that my notes are accurate. Um, so the collection rate is 600 times 2.92. Um, We'll need to redesign to meet new rail line. Double check throughput after redesign. Right. Okay. So that's going to change. Um, let's make that yellow. So 2.92, that must be the minutes. So collection rate is 600 times 2.92. 2.92 is... was this that's the minutes so it's longer than 2.92 4 equals 3 minutes 2296 So, I'm trying to remember how I did that math. Three point three minutes twenty two seconds. Just need to figure out how many minutes that is. So that's one hundred and eighty seconds. Plus 22.96 equals 202.96 seconds, right? And then divide that by 60. So that's 3.6. 
say 3.8. So there's 2,000. Right, so if that's the case, then we need... Collection rate is 600 per minute times 3.38 minutes. No, it's not 600 per minute. It's 1,200 per minute, right? I've got that wrong. It's 1,200 per minute. So I need an extra car. Right, because I've got two. I've got... Uh, 1600 and 1600 is a total of 1200 coming in right so if i did 600 oh no that's yeah 600 is less than one car So it should just be one car, right? I've got two cars total. Yeah, I really don't know why it's not, it's not getting me the right amount of stuff. Um, we'll just say not getting collect correct throughput. make a note here wrap that around Maybe we'll take this out here and add that up here. Uh, and then we've got copper ore and iron ore are both having weird readouts. So the platform says 800 per minute on I either of those. And that seems really strange, right? The upper one is stuttering and the lower one is not. You don't get enough items in the lower one. And there's a low level belt shift somewhere. Um, I'll try to look. At least that is how I've looked at your build to find what's wrong. Yeah, totally. I'll wait for this to unload. So we've got copper is 300 and iron is 600 per minute. Spreadsheet is saying if the platform is saying 800 per minute, which is wild. But I wonder if that's because these are the, it's reading this, right?
No, 300 items per minute. 604 items per minute. See, that seems like an error, but that's fine. So that is not... That's not a problem. It's a little strange. Uh, this was... Let me just double check that. Five ninety four. And four seventy four. Yeah, so we're getting a little bit less than 1080 in some cases. Hello, with the subscription and Prime. 15 months, finally catching the stream in a long time. Hello, hello, welcome in, Lo. Melting Bay 1, I think that's right. So where did you... Do you think I've got some belts that are incorrect, Sandy? On the... On the... Um, coal belt? Less coal on the bottom and more coal on the top. I think that's because the there are nine machines and two belts... So one machine is one belt is feeding more machines than the other. But I see what you mean. But these are all these are all the same Mark 5, Mark 5, Mark 5. So this one's getting 600 and one's getting 475, right? Or 596 and 474. <clears throat> so that's a problem at the source. Like, that's a problem at the station. I'm pretty sure I've sent this one to five machines and this bottom one to four machines. Uh, no, the output of the train station is not the same on both. No, the output at the train station is um, 474 and 594. There's about 100, 100 difference, 120 difference. Which is, again, weird because that's also the number I'm missing. So if we follow the top line, which is on the left, that stays on the left. Uh, left becomes the bottom. Bottom stays left, and then this is so yeah. So that this one's powering four machines, and then this one goes on to feed one, two, three, four machines as well. Where's the ninth machine? One, two. Three, four, five. Oh, maybe I have that backwards. Uh, we are at that point too low. We've done heavy modular frames, but we haven't automated computers yet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why we're not getting like we have the train capacity. We should what we should be seeing is is one of these belts having extra, right? So I don't know why 
like why are we getting 180 when we should be getting 1200 I've got the right belt speeds everything Uh, I'm going to leave it for now. Um, there might not be a much of a point in trying to fix it because um, those nodes might change purity. Like there's, there could be, there could be flow rate changes in general. So I'm just going to leave it for now. For me, it was more about like making sure that the notes were accurate and unlike the other day, just not straight up wrong, right? Like, I'm not going to bother with all the mix master stuff. That's a long way to go just to kind of deal with that. Yeah, so right now, I just need to put a note here that this is, um, There is no overflow. There should be, but there is not. This is actually one of my cleaner sheets. This actually is, is pretty tight. So the other one that we could look at would be, I think the Green Valley was really small. Yeah, there's not much going on in the Green Valley. What do we have actually on the main bus here? Look at that. Go back to the start a little bit. If they're pure nodes, they're very likely to be changed. Yeah, I think they're going to be adding some coal nodes here in the rocky desert. So there's that possibility too. All right, so we've got, what do we not have labeled? The third top two lines, there is none. Okay, that's open. I've got limestone and more coal. Coal across the bottom three.
Yep, that goes all the way back here. Yeah, the jetpack is way more useful now. Whoa! Knew that was gonna happen. Now that one's running out, looks like. Does that eventually get more coal? And then we've got iron ore, it looks like. I could have sworn that I had three coal. Yeah, I really like the trains in the game too. So I obviously don't have a buffer on that. I'm really glad I decided to start color coding everything because it adds a lot of life. Fun kind of like transformer colors to everything. There's that third line. So there is coal on that line. Those are three coal. And I think it's from the, what train is that from? Bone Crusher? No. Scrapper, maybe? Yeah. So I'm curious why that runs dry. Because that also means that the throughput is probably not good. Oh, how often is this autosave? I guess it's been an hour, hasn't it? I will probably wait until the sun goes down to take a break. Just because it is very hard to see. At night. I was watching Bits earlier react to all the cool things that Satisfactory put out today about the um, quantum tiers, which are the higher tiers coming in 1.0. And um, he has Lumen on and his computer runs Lumen. Man, I'm jealous. 600 per minute. 600 per minute. I mean, the O2 is a weird number, but yeah. So we're doing 600 per minute on on Scrapper. I just don't know why it's running out, though. Oh. Would that be a Mark V? What's coming out of here? Three belts that are all Mark V. So that would be a maximum of 600 because that's what's coming into it, right? So 
So as long as the two belts here are faster, add up to be faster. Yeah, there is an inconsistency up there, isn't there? So two Mark IVs are 960, and then the one in the out is only 780. Oh, thanks for the link for the satisfactory video from today. Actually, I haven't watched the first five minutes. Um, I don't know whether my YouTube, my VOD would get muted if we watched that or not. I missed the first part. I don't know if I have a scrapper Crater Lakes. Oh, here it is, here. Minimum 200 coal to North Steel Foundry. Mm. So the coal's coming in. I just don't know where it's going after that. Coal from Scrapper is... 1,800 of it is going in here, and then 200 is going to an overflow. So it's all going to steel ingots. It's all part of the heavy modular frame production. So I should note that on Crater Like So Alt Heavy Modular Frames tab. No. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why I have not put in the third car. So there's three cars. Hmm. Thank you very much for the reminder. We will... Yeah, the sun's almost down. There's nothing here I don't think I need to, to delete or clean up. I think downstairs is all pretty bleak. I don't think I've left anything around. There's the bin of concrete. But that's kind of handy to have down here. And this is actually being sent along and added. couple of trucks I could delete the truck stations I guess we might end up using trucks to bring stuff into here from the rocky facility that could be it too Ooh, this looks like a big old nothing why is that there That all looks like it's being used. These are not, but I'll leave those in there because in case we need them to transport goods. Probably pretty handy. And there goes the sun, so that's time for me to take a break. Yeah, unfortunately the trains going over the top trigger that door, which is too bad. Uh, we'll fire, uh, get over to the brake train here. 
Yeah, time really flies in this game, Void Presence. Like, really flies. I have to be careful sometimes. Speaking of flying, zoom, zoom. For folks that are new, I take a break once an hour. Gives you a chance to see the landscape with the brake train, and I get to have a short stretch break and a glass of water. I'll be right back.
So I was thinking if I've got room at the main storage, I might actually move that concrete bin rather than leaving it there without knowing or forgetting about it. Thank you, sweet Sandy. Wouldn't mind cleaning some of this up too. The question is, do I have the um, capacity? I think I do. Where do I keep the concrete? This is, oh yeah. We've got lots of room. All right, well, let's do that. Uh, I'll need to store my current inventory. Take that back. Need to top up on gas anyway, it looks like. And that was way down the other end. Be curious what the new models and everything are going to look like when they have everything in the game at full release. Grab everything there. That seems a little strange. I guess I could have tidied that up a little bit better. And of course, I don't have the materials on me right now to fix it. There are some things that I'm happy with in this save and some things I am not. I like the top part of this train station. I don't think I'm that crazy about the bottom part. It's hard when you're playing the game this close to release too because like you start to get ideas or builds or changes and you're like, no, I really shouldn't do that. I'll just wait for the new build parts. Yeah, it makes sense to change, change stuff then for sure. Which one of these was concrete? Uh, do, 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 do this one. Yes. That's taken care of. I did see that other little node. Maybe we'll go fix that too. Make it less confusing. 
some awesome sinks there that probably have no business being there. In theory, that would work, but in practice, it only works in theory. <laughs> I.e., you got it wrong. You don't see a lot of, like, missing signals or anything. I mean, this isn't finished, but, like, I don't, don't want to build anything. Because the parts and colors and all that kind of stuff might change. I really wish the snapping in the game was a little bit better. Maybe they fixed that too. Get rid of this and get rid of that. Looks a little bit more intentional. I'm going to leave the truck stations because I want them for the, the height measurement. And I think these three iron nodes are going to the first three belts. So we'll take a look at those. So that's going to be combining into two belts. Man, that is all kinds of squirrely. And then the third belt comes in from the side. That is not not tidy at all. Gross. Fixable, but... So we've got iron on all three of those. Say iron ore. Change that to iron. Oh, that's bright. Wow. Let's go with the deeper color. Yep, 
Yeah, sometimes I wish that these things were not so bright. Cool. It's a little bit easier to see from farther away. What was past Joel thinking? Yeah, I have no idea. I think past Joel just didn't want to move these lifts because these are a real pain to get correct. And I think that's probably what past Joel was thinking. And then we've got copper and limestone. Well, that goes to the rock. Can't can't follow that one. Yeah, something future Joel was gonna fix. I feel like this limestone goes a fair distance though. I think this is for the encased industrial beams. I would say, yep. Oh no, this is going all kinds of nowhere. Okay. So I can tag it, but also that was the third down on this one. Those are steel pipes. On the bottom two. I think it's the coal that stops. So we've got steel pipes on these two. So the coal goes into the steel and then the steel pipe replaces the coal because of course the coal is being consumed by the steel plant. I feel like what I should do with these is make them white. That feels a little clearer, I think, where your gaps are. Because yeah, we're really not using these top, these top ones. Not using those. And this is steel plates on number two. The only thing about the diagram, it's hard to, to tell like when the steel plates come on and when there's nothing. So there's that challenge too. What's that? That's the second one. 
Right, so we need another layer in here. No, iron plate, iron plates. And then we've got iron rods that are right above the coal. How far do those go? Far enough. I think I have a better understanding now. And I've kind of popped in here. I'm trying to remember why my quartz isn't going anywhere. What is happening here? Crystal is backed up. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Did I not hook this up to anything? I guess I did not. I might have to check that out. The old autosave glitch. Can't remember what we use that for. Crystal oscillators, I guess. I wish the game would tell you what other things you make out of it. You have to do that on the website. On the on the wiki. Used for crystal oscillators uh, and signs. Well, I'm using an awful lot of my crystal. 18 per minute for one. I wonder how much crystal oscillator we're actually making. Mm -mm -mm. One to two ratio. So it's likely our reinforced iron plates. Yeah, we haven't done this yet, obviously. North reinforced iron plates. There's 120 left over. No, there's 60 left over. So this would potentially be 60. And if we needed 60 per minute, then divided by 18. It's only three in a bit. Um, no, sorry. Uh, 2.5 equals 2.5. So 24. 24. Wow, that's making like... The 24 crystal oscillators I'm in is not bad. And then I'd need 24 times 18. So 432 crystals would be required. So... How many are we making? Twenty one per minute times a lot. 
My guess is 40. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty would be my guess, yeah. Forty times twenty-one. Eight forty. Wow, we're making a lot. Yeah, because quartz really isn't used for anything else that I can tell. I go to raw quartz. It's used to make silica, but we're already making silica as a byproduct. So I may end up needing more silica. So that's cool. I can always reinvent the wheel there. We have an alternative aluminum recipe that does not require silica our aluminum recipe used to but now it's all done in here and I think all the aluminum upstairs is uh... how do we get upstairs there we go Yeah, we're not doing anything with the aluminum. I think we ripped out all of our aluminum stuff. The only thing we're doing... Oh, no, right. We've got ingots are happening in that building. And then sheets and casing are happening here. Our aluminum is, aluminum is now so much tidier than it used to be. And this is the kind of floor that I want to make. These are the kind of factories I want to have done. I think it looks pretty cool. Right. Yeah, our aluminum is a lot slicker. So yeah, we, we could end up using um, that quartz for silica if we needed to. Uh, where does that come from? That comes from Western Slopes. Yeah, there's the 840. Processing, 40. Yeah, that's all wrong. We do not need that anymore. See, this is the kind of stuff I wanted to take care of, you know, before we... So I don't have to mess around in here and looking around um, with 1.0. So raw quartz is eight forty per minute. Constructors forty. Are they all doing ninety three point three percent? In the video, they showed new uses for quartz. Oh, did they? Okay, cool. We won't mess with this then. I might want to try to send it to an awesome sink, though. Do I? Ha I must have overflow on the quartz, do I? Or is it at a standstill? I weirdly do not have this hooked up. That's not very... What's happening there? Does that just go into overflow? No. That is something else entirely. Extra bauxite, probably. That's overflow. And so is this. Yes.
So the quartz could, in theory, what I should do is hook up the crystal oscillators through their own overflow. We've got the extra overflow belts in here too. Yeah, there's some spare connections here. There's the crystal oscillator factory. So we could hook them up to anything along here. Where are we? We must be pretty central. There's the underbelly of everything. So everything is being output to there. Where's the other one? Up top, it looks like. And that is Mark V. Because this is... Yeah, they, are, they all are at 93.33% for a weird reason. And it's not making silica, it's making... Quartz crystal. Thirty five in, twenty one out. Uh, 840 crystal per minute. So 35 raw quartz times 40 is 1400. So I need to adjust those machines if they're all making stuff. Right now it's hard to tell because they're all backed up. All right, well, let's hook it up to the awesome sink. Marcus, hello. Yeah, so awesome sinks are a great way to kind of keep your factories going while you're preparing for um, the next phase of things. That is in the way. This would be a good spot to send them. Right here. I feel like we can do that quite easily. Nice and tidy. That's the right color. Maybe it had a gray stripe. I, I do find the color system really confusing. I wish they gave us a little bit more. And then we've got two pipes there, although the power's now in the way. That was silly. Uh, 
that was nice and tidy, sort of. That's right. I'll do it this way. I guess we'll just do uh, this has to go lower and we'll add a wall love the new ways that they connect things. It's so much nicer. Oh, it's too close. Why have you done that to me? Why? Uh... Maybe we'll do two singles. And then we'll just line up the mergers. Uh, this, they can't be on the same belt though. Because it's outputting, what is it outputting? 21 times 40? What did I say that was? 840? Yeah. So it has to be on two separate belts. So we'll put one on this one. And the other one on this one. Probably easiest just to use this. Now that's probably merging with something down the line. Yeah, it's getting merged with copper. That should still be... That's flowing. It's not stuttering, so it's not too much for the belt. I do find it very odd that belts stutter when they merge. I hope they fix that because this makes it look like your belt is overflowing. Like there's too much on the belt when it's not. It's perfectly smooth on this side and it's merging with two other items. So that is how this should look. And it just, I don't know whether it's a visual glitch or what? Same thing here, right? Now that stuttering might mean that it's got too much on it and it cannot be processed fast enough. Because there's no other merge points for that. It 
It's all going to be a little bit different when they get that new belt, though. See, but that's moving fine, right? Like, if this was the bottleneck, then that should be stuttering. And it's not. It's stuttering after the merger. So there's something to do with the merging that's that's making things stutter. Again, I hope they fix that. Because it's when you see a stuttering belt, you think that you've done something wrong. Twelve hundred, you think it was moving? Yeah. The single belt? No. Oh, you're talking about the output of the actual factory. No, twelve hundred was what's coming in. Uh the level oh yeah, the level six belt. Yeah. It uh it was twelve hundred or a thousand, I can't remember. But it was a lot. Make sure I didn't do anything wrong here. Yeah, so we've got some stuttering in here, but it's probably because this is all very full. So I can at least adjust that. So 1200 coming in. I don't think that's the case, though. We'll double check. Um, that's correct, I think. 35 times 40. No, it's 1400. That was the number, right? 1400. So I've got 35, 21 coming out per minute. And that's times 40. We know that there's 40. Starting to get some green lights, which is good. Twelve hundred on a pure note is maxed overclocked. That gives twelve hundred per minute. Yeah. Seems they've solved the floating point error, somewhat. If they're having a Mark Six belt, I don't know what you mean about a floating point error, Marcus. I don't know what that means. Um. So it is 30 times 40. So it's these require 1400. So at the moment, this should be getting 1200. So there's no overflow. And it is on the main bus, seven and eight. Now, are they coming in? They're coming in as two separate belts, I think. Yep. Yeah, they are not merging.
So this will be 600. as I can tell and then it's outputting quartz crystal or 20. And that's getting merged onto the awesome sick array. It's just nice to know where the stuff is currently going so that when we need to reroute it later, we can actually sort that out, right? Cool. This is wrong. Now I don't see the overflow working over here. The quartz is obviously, um, oh, there's no overflow here. So that'll help with the throughput calculations and there's no overflow on the bottom hmm oop stuck I could just rewrite it under that one or I could take the overflow from, oh, that's really tidy, isn't it? So I could pull the overflow from here as well. Um, it really shouldn't need overflow though, so maybe I should just turn that off. Because what we're making, it should, it should, if anything, the machine should be producing less. First thing to do with 1.0 is out, figure out what nodes are messed up. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, when when 1.0 comes out, we'll be going back and figuring out what nodes need to be reassigned and, and how to work all that out. The, the good news is like, I, I don't feel like the ratios of the early things like copper, um, or plates and iron rods. Like, I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think the tricky part is going to be um, switching around which nodes are which. So, like, for example, in my spreadsheet, like, I've got all the nodes in the rocky desert. You know, copper one, copper two, copper three. I've got all that kind of stuff allocated. And there's going to be some crisscrossing, I think. Because, like, if this goes to a... If this isn't impure anymore, if this goes to a pure, if this goes to an impure, like if these pure iron nodes change to normal, like there's all these things that are going to have to be calculated, but uh, there's a lot of this stuff that isn't tapped. Like there's all this stuff that I'm just not using. So thankfully we've not gotten that far, uh, but the stuff that is hooked up, we're just going to have to kind of go from the start to finish. We'll, we'll go and, and rename things and, and sort it out that way. Uh, what new nodes are in the middle of your factory? Yeah, that's another thing too. Um, is what new nodes might be 
uh, like where I'm standing. Like right now, they're all along the outside here. Uh, there's a couple at the back, but really, I think they left this empty because they wanted you to build here. But who knows? Apparently, there's going to be coal in the in the rocky desert, but I don't I don't know where the coal's going to be. Right now, we're bringing our coal in mostly from up here and from over here, but I think there's going to be some local. So some things will be easier to change. Um, we some things are, are are good that we haven't tapped, like we've not tapped the quartz, we've not tapped a lot of the limestone, like all this limestone out here, these pure limestone. This would be a really cool place to put a um, a concrete factory, but um, we've not tapped any of it, so that should be that should be good. So I need to go back and just check the train. See what the train says. Tap everything and sync it until you need it. Yeah, no, it's not a bad idea. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of energy. If you have the extra power, sure. Auto save. They don't take a lot of power at the late game, but in the early game they do. Mixmaster. I want to say it's Bone Crusher. Yep. Bone Crusher. What are you saying? 345 items per minute and 300 items per minute. That seems incorrect. Are you Bone Crusher? You are Bone Crusher. to time a train have a dedicated train that sings everything that's not a bad idea either thanks sweet sandy appreciate that yeah that's essentially what we've got at the back end of devastators like a giant sink array The reason they gave to deflect the questioning was that there were floating point errors creating instability and rate throughput. I missed your explanation earlier. Oh, the game was giving inaccurate rates above 780 per minute. Okay, I see. So we're just going to time this, and obviously I've got some item clean up, clean up to do here too. All end game production chains are complicated. Oh yeah, super complicated. Yeah, especially now with the quantum stuff. The, um, there's a video linked in my Discord. Sandy also linked it here in the chat earlier today. And it's, uh, it's wild. I don't feel it's an even ramp up, though. I feel like tiers 1 through 5 are pretty straightforward. I feel like 7 and 8 are just, like, exponentially harder than they, they need to be. 
I really wish I had done a better job on this roundabout. I find it kind of ugly. It's not the best position for it. So it's just the quartz that's moving, which makes sense. Some weird non-animation. Three twenty-nine fifteen. Really what you should do is take about three trips, depending on what trains are coming by at what time, it might be a little bit slower through the interchanges and stuff. Yeah, I really don't like, like the way that this kind of exits. I should have a better way of laying this all out. I wish they gave us a way to turn off the beans and turn off the different the different uh, things. So we've just got quartz crystal hanging around, silica hanging around, more quartz crystal hanging around. Jeez. These are full. The problem is that, that these have all been backed up, right? So one thing I might do is, is empty these bins. Right? So, yeah, like, what I should do is, like, trash all of this. Or at the very least, trash the f buffer. Unfortunately, I built these train stations before I understood how to do the buffers, and so it ends up being um, a lot of backlog and, and ugly additions, you know? I need to go look at these quartz. I mean, again, the, the um, purity of these could change. I know they're going to be making a lot of changes to this area. With new blocks, it might make sense to rebuild some of them. Oh, for sure. You know, well, and with my new train line too, right? Like this was just a, a quick addition. So I really want the, you know, what should happen is if this is the main train line heading north, right? It goes up around the corner and goes through the valley. If that's the main train line, then this should be coming off of like up here somewhere. There should be like an exit here, you know? either there or down there. So we'll have to recalculate some of the some of the throughput depending on what when we change the train track lengths. Cuz this is just a this is a, just a loop. There's no other thing uh, 
this track here, there's nothing else attached to it. It's just it's just the bone crusher. Just the bone crusher station. So this is gonna be filling up this stuff. These are fives, fives and fives, but there's only one five coming in to each one. Smart mergers, like smart splitters, the player can set priority of the inputs. Oh, that would be a good idea. So I'd imagine those quartz containers are probably still pretty full. Because what should be happening is that this should not be ever full. So that should do, if I also delete this and that. So now it should be working kind of like as designed where nothing is staying in here. It's all just going straight into this at this at the desired rate. Weirdly, it still says 438, 443, it's weird. Because that should be getting the 700, right? Not 700, 600 coming out of each machine. Four forty-three, four thirty-eight. Uh, I guess I should put a couple of lines in here. How many cars do we have on this? Four? One, two, three, four, five. And this is four and five, I believe. Yep. 438 and 443. Night has fallen again. No, I've got to wrap up the stream, but thanks, sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. I've got to wrap up the stream. I'm just waiting for the train. Because I don't have room in my inventory to bring anything back, I don't think. Not really. The buggy is here. We should probably leave him here. Does he have stuff in the back? Full tank of gas ready to go. I could probably get rid of this. That's some progress. It's not terrible, it's just ugly. It's organized. I think the only thing I did was I cut down a couple of trees that grew up through the middle of it. That's it. I really like this train color. It reminds me of Astro Train, which was, I think, a Decepticon uh, train combiner. 
turned into a space shuttle and a train. Really cool. That would be a good, a good way to start. I need to start writing down different Decepticons to uh, design our factories because as we progress uh, and design new factories, I'm going to start doing um, different Decepticons. I agree. Cosmic would approve. it slowed down there it's weird I guess because this guy here has already claimed the route hey, I didn't see him coming so that would account for the you know the average return trip being a little slower than what we wrote down that's why I think it's important to like time it three or four times I don't think a slowdown of that small length would add an additional car. I don't think so. It'll be really cool when the game is out and all those animations actually work and are nice and smooth and all the new sounds and stuff. So we've got um, 458 and 459. I think I did this one first. That is not 600. I don't understand how you can have 1,200 a minute coming in and not have 1,200 a minute coming out. That seems bizarre. I must need an extra train car. It must need three cars, not four. But that is a problem for next time, Joel, because my brain is toast. It's been a lovely day, but it's been a long day. And... I will be back streaming again tomorrow. Uh, if you're part of the Spawn Chunks community, then we will be doing a bonus podcast from the Spawn Chunks Discord tomorrow morning. That will be for our patrons. It's the monthly hangout where we talk to our patrons about uh, all of the things that they have been building. I will then be streaming from 1 o'clock until 3 o'clock. Doing Minecraft, we'll be back underneath the iron farm attempting to figure out how to make pink dye automatically. We've got everything else sorted. Uh, I just need to hook it all up. So that's that's been fun. So you can expect to see more there. Um, still not streaming on Sundays. I think I'm going to continue to take Sundays off. I think that's a good, good decision on my part. You can, of course, follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. And I am Joel Duggan on Patreon as well. If you'd like to support the stream, then check that out. A uh, big thank you to everyone that supported today with a Twitch sub. You are saving 25% for the month of September. Uh, streamers still get the same cut, but you are saving some money on your end. And so I really appreciate the support. Uh, keep an eye out for extra bits that will be happening later in the month and bonus subs that will be happening at the end of the month. And we'll have uh, details if you do bang September in chat. There's a link to the Twitch article that explains the whole month of promotions. Uh, I truly appreciate all of your support. It is one of the reasons I get to do what I do. And I will see you all tomorrow. We're going to pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory, I hope. If, that, if not, I will pass you on to somebody playing Minecraft. 
but hopefully there's somebody messing around in Satisfactory somewhere. Actually, you know what? It doesn't look like it. I think the Satisfactory players are... But, oh, no. Kibitz is live. I'm going to send you over to Kibitz. I haven't rated Kibitz in a while. Have a fantastic rest of your day, folks. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.